Hello everyone, welcome back to Tech It. I'm standing in front of my new house. Uh, the pipe system's been taken out because all my stuff is now uh, in there. And it's been sorted into separate chests. Uh, it looks a bit taller because it is taller. Uh, I added uh, another floor so I've got more space to put things in. Uh, let me put back in there, get my UI up. And I moved my to-do list over from uh, from over there. My uh, episodial instruction plank. So, I think what I'm going to do today is this one. I've been, it's kind of, well if you look at my hotbar here in my inventory, you can see that most of these things are, well, they're a bit in a state of disrepair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to conduct some magical repairs on these, because look at that diamond pick, so that's, that's nearly done. It's uh, nearly broken, so we're going to get something done with uh, about that. Uh, and over here, uh, this is something I've built between episodes, which I'm rather proud of actually, I love it. It's my little magic hut. Uh, I wanted, I didn't want my, in this compound tower we have all the machinery and stuff, and uh, I didn't want my, my beautiful magic being corrupted by science. So I've got a cauldron, I've got this nether brick fence, uh, I've got it, uh, my cauldron heated, I finally figured out how to stop this place catching on fire by putting the fence in. I've got a little brewing stand here, uh, making some awkward potions, got some nether wart in there. And bookcases and an enchanting table. I see I've got my, uh, my two uh, enchanted power bows. One dropped from the skeleton and the other one is uh, the one I enchanted. I set up my transmutation tablet here and that's actually a 2x2 two two infinite water source. And I've got some sugar cane going outside which I can harvest now actually. And the first thing I'm going to do is not take a tea at all. I'm going to brew a couple of potions because I'm going to need them to be honest. What can I need? I need one of those. One of those. One of those, some of that, and one of those. Uh, let me just make one of that. And yeah, I think that's everything I need. And so this is kind of maybe a little tutorial. What you need is you need to make some awkward potions, which you make by getting a water bottle and putting nether water in it, and you get an awkward potion, and you get a water bottle by crafting uh, a glass bottle with three glass in the same shape as a bucket, and either right clicking on a water source or putting it in a cauldron. And a cauldron is more efficient because you can put one bucket of water in here and get three water bottles. So the things I need are, take those out, I need some fire resistance potions which you get from magma cream to make me resistant to fire which is going to be incredibly useful for when I need to get gas tears to make various uh, tegety things. And whilst that I can do I can do this, I can make that into two blaze powder Oh, here we go. They're nearly done. There we go. I've got some uh, fire resistance potions, which will be useful. Pop those in now. Some more. One. Six. And you can save on ingredients by making three at a time. What I'm going to need is I'm going to need some blaze powder, which I'm pretty certain makes strength potions, which will be good because, well, I need to be strong, aren't I? And next, I'm going to grab some things I need to make the actual equivalent exchange magical items. I'm going to grab some of that from here. Uh, let's see, I need a piece of coal, a piece of redstone, uh, a piece of iron, uh, a diamond, Oh, and I forgot to mention this. I got a I got a skeleton to kill a creeper, so I got the cat music disc. But I haven't got a jukebox yet. I'm gonna have to get one of those set up soon. I'm quite proud of myself doing that. I think it's the first time I've actually uh, done it. Got a disc without finding it in a dungeon chest. Uh, what else do I need? I need rest of iron. I need eight cobblestone. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I need one charcoal, which I can get from smelting a wooden. Oh, it's a rubber wood. I have to smelt it twice. Jesus H. Okay. Oh, I don't even smelt it with. Oh, I'll use the coal. And I'll grab another one. Okay, then, it turns out if you cook rubber wood, you get jungle wood. Not sure if that's intentional or if it's a bug, but whatever. We'll roll with it. And what we're going to be making is some covalence dust, which we're going to use to repair our items. Uh, but we can use it for other things as well. It's not just for item repairs, it's used as a crafting ingredient in alchemical chests. 
which are chests that are basically massive and have various magical properties. Uh, there we go, Potion of Strength. And the last thing I want to make are Potion of Swiftness, which you get... Sugar. Oh, and I wanted to make some uh, poisonous potions too, to throw at things. So, uh, three there. So, do I have a crafting table? I do not have a crafting table in here, that's rather embarrassing. We're going to have to use the one over in the tower, the project table, so... Let's go and do that. Okay, what I'm doing now, this is the... There are three tiers of covalence dust, and each tier can repair more and more advanced items. The basic one you make with charcoal, which you, you have to be clever with, uh, careful with this, one uses charcoal and one uses coal, and using the wrong kind often uh, mixes people up and they'll uh, complain that uh, it's bugged and they can't craft it, but it's not. You just have to make sure that you're using the right uh, kind. To make the lowest, you need charcoal, not coal, one there, and then you need eight pieces of cobblestone. And you get 40. You always get 40. Every time you do one of these, you get 40 covalence dust. And the next one is uh, simpler. You just need one piece of redstone and one iron ingot. And this is mid-tier covalence dust. It's the cyan one. And the last one, you probably guessed, is what I need, the coal. It's coal, this one, not charcoal. That's the, the highest tier. And a diamond, and you get this. That's the highest tier. And you always get 40. So I'm going to take those with me. And I'm going to make... Uh, just a simple crafting bench to plonk down in my magic room. And is there anything else I'm going to do? I'm going to need some string, because I'm going to make uh, a charm, a talisman. Where the hell have I put string? Here it is. And some paper, which I think I have some in the magic hut. And if I don't, I think I can transmute some, or make some... Uh... Ooh, it's getting dark. Uh, I don't want to have to face any jokers. I'm going to sleep for a while. I think I can transmute some into sugar cane and make some, or if I've already learned paper, I can make some of that automatically. So, let's get right on with improving our tools. Well, not improving, but, you know, making sure they don't break. Uh, where can I put this crafting bench? If I put it there, I can still access this chip. No, I can't. Hmm. Okay. I'm not sure if I'll be able to pull from that, but I'll, I'll move things around. I made three potions of swiftness from the sugar, and what else I want to do is make some harming potions that I can throw at things. You make those with a spider eye. So, I need paper too. Do I have paper learned? Or will I have to make sugar canes? Oh, I'll make some sugar canes. And I need one piece of paper. Oh wait, uh, hold on, I'll show you the other way to do this. What you can just do is, uh, for a diamond picker, a uh, diamond tools are repaired with this. Uh, bronze and uh, iron and gold tools are repaired with this. And stone and wooden tools are repaired with this. What you can do is use as many covalence dust as it would items to make it, but not sticks. So, uh, that, for example, a diamond pickaxe, you need three diamonds, so you need three pieces of this covalence dust. With a sword, uh, oh, sapphire ones are repaired with the mid-tier dust. With a sword, you will need two bits of the material, so you, you would use two of the covalence dust. This, you can do this, and put three anywhere in the table, and it would make it fully repaired. But we're not going to do that. That's not what we're going to be doing. We're going to do something slightly more impressive. If I put that there, and then two string around it for a handle, and put two of each covalence dust, an opposing pattern like that. I make this. This is a talisman of a pair. It's probably the first E power item you're gonna want to make. Because, well, for so I think it's the cheapest overall. All you need is the stuff to make the covalent stuff, the paper and the string. And you need that to repair items. And what it's done is you see it's actually used some of the covalent dust to repair my items automatically. And what it will usually do is repair them right before they break. That potion of poison, and if you put gunpowder in there, you get they make splash potions. It will repair them right before they break, but that's good. And what the the way the talisman works is, if you, I think, is it mid you need for a bow, or is it low? I'll have to check because it's just. Uh, oh, shift glitch. Right, what it does is it will, if you use covalence dust like this to repair it, it will actually take the enchantment off. 
But if you use the Talisman, I don't think it does, because that these both have just been repaired and they still have their power enchants. So, if you use the Talisman, your enchantments won't get taken off. But another, a good reason for that is if you get, like, say you get Bane of Arthropods on a sword. It's good if you're going to be fighting a lot of spiders, but otherwise, no, you want the better enchant. So what you can do is you can actually use this Covenant stuff to kind of scrap your enchant, and then you'll have, it'll cost more XP, but you'll still have a chance to put a, a new enchant on. Now the next thing I'm going to make are some alchemical chests, and I want to make two? Yeah, I want to make two of them. But for the life of me, I cannot remember the recipe, which is very bad for a mage, I know, it's terrible. Right, a diamond, cooked stone, iron, uh, a chest. Right, so uh, let's start with the two chests. That shouldn't be too difficult. I can use this, get that out of my inventory. Right, two chests. Now I'll need four bits of iron. One, two, three, four. Two diamonds. I'm running quickly out of diamonds. I'm going to have to go mining and get some more. Uh, no, they're not magic. They're in, uh, precious. I'm going to have to go mining and get some more diamonds because I'm running out of those. Diamonds. I need two cooked stone for each one. Do I have any cooked stone? I don't think there's any in this one. Uh, I don't think I do. I have stone bricks, but... I might as well just cook some stone up. Where's my furnace? There it is. I need to build a furnace, can you believe that? I know, it's terrible, isn't it? You can use sugar canes as fuel, but they're a really terrible uh, fuel. I'm gonna steal a bit of coal. I know it's horribly coal inefficient, but I didn't even make one. Right, uh, yep, do that. Two stone and the covalent stuff. So I can start to build this in the project table. I need, I wanna make two, cause I wanna turn one into an energy condenser. And I want to turn one into an, uh, an alchemical sack, or an alchemical bag, or whatever it's called. Alchemy bag, that's it. You won't get it. Diamonds in the middle, and now all I'm waiting on is the cooked stone. Did I get four? Yeah, I did. Okay, two. I'll build a build one, and no, ooh. Actually, no, it's best if I just build two at the same time. So this is a magical chest. It has an insane amount of storage, and it also has some other magical properties, as in it allows items, magical power items, to work inside it. All right, there we go. Alchemical chests, and you need two. I'm going to make. Well, you don't need, but I'm going to make two of them, and I'm going to put them in. I'm going to put one down in my. Actually, yes. Sorry, uh, in my. Magical hut, which I'm eventually gonna make better than a hut. I want to make like a proper mage tower because this bit—it's actually lit by a glowstone block, which I thought was quite clever. But I, uh, it's a bit—it wastes a lot of space at the top. But I couldn't make two floors because it would block the windows and ugh, it's just a mess. But uh, I have a a habit of making one, two, three, four, five. See, equivalent, equivalent exchange. It's a good, good mod name. I have a habit of making. Uh, purple alchemical chests. It's just a thing I do. Where should I put it? Uh, here. Wow, that's a terrible place. There's no space in here. And immediately you can see the amount of space it has. It's got a lot of space. It's got a lot of space, basically. But if I put this talisman to repair in here... Wow, look at all that magic that's happening. <laughs> no, uh, then I put my slightly disrepaired tools and as you can see, the EMC value is going up, the amount of uses indicated by the damage value is going down, and it's actually being repaired for free. All my tools are being repaired now. So if I put this in here, it actually does get repaired too, it works on the EE wrench. And put that in there, that, 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 this and this, and I want to check that it's not... Ah yes, and it won't take the enchants off my bow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave those in there to repair. Uh, I hope I don't need them. I probably will, and I'm going to curse myself for leaving them in that chest. Uh, brewing stand, how's that doing? Oh good, I got my splash. Uh, poisons. Good, so this should... I should have my fully repaired diamond pick pretty soon. And... What was the last thing I wanted to build? Oh yeah, uh, an alchemy bag. This is a slightly improved version of the alchemy chest. It has the same storage capacity. It has exactly the same magical properties, items work inside it, but, uh, and you can build them in every wool color, and so you can have, you can carry 16 of them, and they'll all have separate inventories, is that it cannot be placed like a chest, it actually, you have to look at 
nothing in your range or a block that isn't like a utility block that you can't click on. And it actually gives you all this extra inventory space. And if I just pop all these things in there, uh, blaze powder, and my covalence dusters, and there you go. It's no longer in my inventory, but it is still in the bag. It's a magic bag. It's a magic kind of black holy voidy insidey whitey bag. But the last thing it does is exactly the same thing as the alchemy chest. If I put my talisman repair in now, and I put my diamond pick in, you can see it has exactly the same restorative function as it does in the alchemy chest. And will repair my items. You can see both my bows have been repaired and they still have the power 1 enchant on them. Which really makes me miss the uh, 1.5's anvil. But still. And my wrench is fully repaired so as long as I don't break my wrench uh, I may not even need to build an electric one but I probably will just to show that off because it's kind of cool. And the thing I want to do with this... Oh, I'll have to... Oops. Go out my pickaxe actually. To take this up. I want to turn this one. I have my... Oh, oh. Thank God. I thought that it uh, dropped into the f uh, into the lava. That would have been a disaster. Uh, I've turned the alchemy chest here into my alchemy bag. So I want to turn this alchemical chest into an energy condenser. Which I also cannot remember the recipe for because I only... Oops, ducky. Because I only ever build one. And then I forget, completely forget how I built it. But this is it, the energy condenser. And it's diamonds and obsidian. Oh, darn, do I have obsidian? I, I really hope I do. In here. It's worth 64, but I can't transmute between matter and fuel yet. So what I'm going to have to do is grab something, some matter that's worth quite a bit. Uh, I need four diamonds, but I'm seriously running the hell out of diamonds now. And what... Uh, I can use... I have a ridiculous amount of sapphires. I can use some of those and make uh, obsidian. So, yeah, I'm going to use my transmutation tablet to turn some of these sapphires into... Ooh, hold on. There we go, obsidian. One... Two, three, four. If anyone's wondering, I just hit my the R key on my keyboard to sort my inventory like this. And I don't actually know why I built a crafting table in here because I remembered what I've been doing. If you hold the philosopher's stone and you press C on your keyboard, C, K, it actually opens up a crafting table, which I now remember was what I was doing. Stupid me. But yeah, I'm going to build the energy condenser, which is like a buffed version of the transmutation tablet. Personally, I prefer the transmutation tablet because eventually, once you get some dark matter, you can upgrade it into a portable version of its. Oh, <laughs> that's my screen recorder. I do apologize. Into an upgraded uh, version of this, where I can carry it around and actually just use it from inside my inventory. I don't have to place it down, which is why I prefer it. And also, this is a lot more precise. But in order to transmute between matter and fuel, you need the alchemical tome, which is ridiculously expensive. So. The energy condenser is a good bet for now, and as you can see, it's got, I think, the same storage capacity as the alchemical chest, but it also has this extra slot up here and this kind of progress bar. So what you do is you can store things in here and just have it like a normal alchemical chest. You can use it for storage, but it has an extra function. If I... I'll take this out, actually. What I use this slot for is I use... If I put something in that slot, everything you put in here will be transmuted into this target item. So if I put some sapphires in here, it'll make me an inordinate amount of stacks of nether wart. And I'm going to take one stack of nether wart, put the 16 back in there, and I'm going to have it make sapphire swords. Right, I want it to make sapphire swords for me. And so every time this bar reaches... See, when it doesn't have an item in here, this bar doesn't fill up because it doesn't know what it's aiming towards. But when you put this in, which has an EMC value, 2052, it will go up, and once it hits here, the EMC will be spent, and another sword will be made. So, oh, just short. Uh, no, I won't bother. Um, how's my pickaxe doing? It's doing pretty well, actually. It's only got 24, 23, 22, 
21, 20. I've only got 20 uses left to go and it'll be fully prepared. My axe, my shields are done, that's good. My axe has 35, my diamond 14. And there we go. And what I think I'm going to do is I have, oh, I have only two levels. Hmm, oh well. I might get a crappy enchant, but whatever. I'm going to try and once this is fully prepared, there we go. See, it's done. The durability bar has disappeared and it's back to its full EMC value. And there's no damage value on the item ID, which NEI shows. Thank you, NEI. I'm going to use my two level... Oh, I hold on. <laughs> I forgot about this. I actually can't get a level two enchant because I'm too close to the bookcases. Hold on. Let me move it outside and I can see if I can get a two level two enchant. Oh, contact. Contact. Ooh, my book. I haven't got any arrows. Where's my sapphires? Oh, they're all inside. Jesus H. Okay. It's wrench time. Wrench him. Oh, I'm just going to go and get a sword from the energy condenser. Jesus. Oh, hey, that's against the rules of combat. How dare you? Right, there we go. See, I knew there'd be a reason I would make these swords. Okay, I'm going to try and get a decent level 2 enchant on my... Oh, oh Jesus. Level... Ah, level 2 enchant. And apparently, I heard, I'm not sure if this is true, that the more words there are, the better the enchant will be, but... Never know, so... What I'm going to do is... I'm going to put my level 2 enchant on that. And oh, efficiency 1, that's pretty good. It's good for the level 2 enchant. I, I like efficiency. It makes it faster to mine things. Which is good. Fortune would have been nice. Well, what can you do when you are... Uh, you know, I've only got two levels. So, I'm going to go... Uh, I'm going to put this back in here. Uh, I'm going to make bones, because I'm going to need those for uh, farming. Eventually, because I want to get a farm set up, because uh, we all need food. Even me, I know. It's magical, isn't it? Oh, and I'm going to use my arrow to make that. And then, uh, if you're incredibly paranoid about things like this, like I, the Earth Creeper, Oh, okay, hold on. Let's go around the tower towards those less explodey monsters. Seriously, I will walk towards any monster that isn't a creeper simply because I don't like how they explode. Oh dear, I'm going to die, aren't I? Ha! <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. Oh, I've done smarter things in Minecraft. Why do I never carry a sword? Jesus. Okay, let me go and grab all my crap and then go inside. I was going to try and do a, okay, a cool thing, but no, never mind. I've got armor. I had armor one too. Wow. Oh. Okay, do I have a uh, fuel so- mm. Oh, he blew a hole in the side of my tower. Okay. Reeling from the fight. He runs towards the hut. And he closes the door. He shoots, he survives. Okay, so... That is... Clearly not all my stuff. I'll go and get it once I finish recording. Hopefully it doesn't despawn. But this has been an expose into some slightly more advanced magic, uh, repairing my tools. Uh, my axe is fully done, I'm going to shove that back in there simply because I'm incredibly paranoid about this and I want to, those two uses I want to repair. This is the talisman of repair, some, how you can use covalence dust in that, and a chemical chest and energy condensers, and a little bit of potions, because potions are awesome, obviously. So, I've been Audrey, and this has been Tekkit. And actually, just a slight note, this is the last Tekkit. Until next week. Um, <laughs> I thought I'd say that just because I think I'm funny sometimes. No, I'm actually going to beat her this weekend. If uh, if anyone sees me there, uh, I'm the guy who looks like a cross between Bob Marley and John Lennon. Uh, if anyone sees me there, give me a shout out. So, uh, no videos for me over this weekend, but uh, though I'll continue back into production next week. So, I've been RJ. This has been Tekkit. I'm trying to get a kind of crappy viewpoint thing here in my doorway. It's been exposing into magic and uh, moving slightly away from kind of the tech tree. And goodbye.